Oh, hi there, everyone. Welcome to another Trevor's Terrarium here at Geetopia Island. I'm Cardwell. I'm Kevin. And that's Trevor. Uh, today, we have a fun little black-white deck for you. But before we go into it, go and remind you that we do have a Patreon. It only takes a dollar to support us, and we love you very much for it. And the link will be down below. Today, we are going to the Shadow Realm. And it's basically, you know, just dealing with graveyards, exiling things, and just taking your opponent down for sure. But first, our champion is Ergon, the Tragic Gargoyle. Exhaust, send the top two cards of your deck in the discard zone. Exhaust, pay one, put target unit from your discard zone on top of the deck. Just extremely powerful. Yeah, dude is super strong because he gets you back whatever you want. Like, you just keep milling, you're like, we'll get that dude back. Yeah, get that dude back, mill, tr things trigger, and you're about to see that. So, our spirit is actually Buckeye the Loyal. So, at the start of the game, you put a Hound unit token with Guardian on it, it's a 500. It cannot attack, but. You can sacrifice the unit and it'll prevent the next damage that would be dealt to target unit instead. So that's pretty good. You can soul burst this and prevent all damage that would be dealt to target unit this turn. So you can save the last dude that will hit the winning kill pretty much. Yep, yep. And then since we're milling, since we're helping with graveyard shenanigans, we're playing all the little mill dudes like Shrieker. Yep. He is one for a 1000, arrives in the top three of your deck to the discard zone. Dude is good for a one drop because he's a 1,000. So yeah. he can kill a couple towers and kill most things you need and then just helps you mill. Exactly. Next one is a Shadow Liger. It's a one drop 1,000. Whenever this card attacks or is attacked, send the top two cards of your deck into the discard zone just to help you get there. Yeah, same thing. One drop 1,000, help you kill things yep. and mill. Uh, next is the Obsidian Gargoyle. It is two for a 1,000. When this card is sent to the grave, or sent from the deck to the discard zone, you may put it into play. So you, when you're milling, this dude is a free dude. Yeah. Like he gets milled, you're like, ah, cool, I get a free two, a free one thousand dude, which is pretty good. Uh, Unrestrained Poltergeist is it? It's a two drop five hundred, but it has rune. Send the top three decks of a player's deck into the discard zone. Then a different player expels the top three cards of their deck. So you discard yours, and they exile expel theirs so yeah. therefore they lose that and they can't do any graveyard shenanigans yeah because they don't get those dudes back yeah and then next is yuki the bright veiler squire she is a three drop 2000 with target attack this card cannot be targeted by spells or abilities with two or less yeah. and then you can expel a dark card and a light card from your discard zone and reveal this card from your hand put this card from your hand into play and if you do exhaust target unit and your opponent controls Use only during, only while your opponent has three or more destroyed towers. So it is one of the new promos. Uh, it is the black white one. It is super strong just because it can it can be played for free. Yeah. At any time, and that's what makes it so strong. Is once the, once you have it set, they have three towers. You can you can use her ability. You can do it at the at like the end of their turn and be like, hey, cool, tap that dude. Yeah. Now I get to swing it on your guardian because it's tapped. Exactly. Yeah. Very powerful. Should be fun. This guy is the best doggo though, is Hellish Guardhound. It's a three drop 2000. It has Guardian, and then it has double Guardian. So it arrives, target unit cannot attack this turn. And we didn't realize how powerful it is until we explored it all the time. <laughs> yeah, we uh, we all have made our mistakes about this card being just a starter deck card. We were like, eh, it's whatever. But no, that yeah. dog is real strong. Real good. Uh, next is Liu Avarice Reborn. He is four for a 2,000. When this card is put into the discard zone from anywhere, you may sacrifice a dark unit if you do put this card into play. Yep. This dude is kind of insane because he can almost never die. Yeah. If he starts to die, you're like, we'll sacrifice this dude, bring him back, put him into play. And yeah, because it says from anywhere. So it dies, we'll sack the Shrieker. Or even turn one Shrieker, this goes in, you're like, oh, okay, sack the Shrieker. Now you have a 2,000. Yeah. Already on turn one. Next is Woody Loyal Pack Leader. It's a 4 drop 2000. It has Guardian and Target Attack. Arrive, put Target Hound Token 500 that has Guardian and sacrifice this card for the next damage that would be dealt this turn. If your Spirit was Buckeye, put 2 instead. And with Ergon, you can just keep putting this back on top and putting it in play and getting 2 dudes. And th these ones, it looks like they can attack. Yeah. So keep that in mind, They're, they are separate tokens. Uh, next up is Nob, the Shadow Guardian. He is 4 for a 2500 Guardian. Arrive, if there's destroyed Dark Tower, the target unit gets minus 2000. Yeah. This dude is also disgusting, and using him with the Doggo makes it super hard to get around Black's defense because they're like, cool, I have big Guardians that kill your dudes. Yeah. They're real, real good. Next one, of course, has to be Kara, right? The Lone Valkyrie, it's a 6 drop 3500. It costs one less to play for each destroyed tower, which will happen. 
And if you have one or less towers remaining, this has plus 1,000 Brawler and Guardian, so it can get you there. And if you control no other units, it cannot be targeted by spells or abilities. Just like that. Just, just as simple as possible. Yeah, if she does get in play, she kind of changes a lot of how the game works because oh, you yeah. have to deal with her. Uh, the first spell we got is Delayed Poison. It is one for an augment. Equipped to target unit at the start of the next turn, destroy the equipped unit. It's just a one mana kill spell, and it happens like immediately, which is kind of nice. So you're like, cool, put this on a dude, and then it goes to their turn, and that dude just dies. Yeah, because how Arkham Saga works is that they control the augment at that point, therefore, it's the start of their turn, and then it dies yeah. off. Next one is Omega Magic Yami. It's two drop insta cast. Choose one, or if you have two or less towers remaining, you choose both. Target uh, unit gets minus 1000. Or return target unit you know, with three or less from the discard zone to your field. It's you just get the doggo back and kill something. Yeah, thanks. This this card does a lot of work. Oh yeah. Uh, next is Omega Magic Hikari. It is two for an insta cast. Put into play a knight token guardian one thousand. If you have two or less towers remaining, put in two instead. And this card is really strong just because it can help injure the game. So you're like, cool, into turn, I'm gonna make two dudes because I have two less towers and now I'm gonna kill you. Yeah, when everyone does calculations, they're like, okay, I can swing with this one guy and then I have enough blockers, but this just like blows it out of the board. Yeah. Now we also have finishing ray. It's destroy all units for four. And that's what you need sometimes. When you're just put back behind, you're like, oh, kill everything, thanks. And then finally we have Helena's Wrath, which is six. Uh, put into play two Berserker Golem tokens, which are two thousands. And then each non-golem unit gets minus 600, where X is equal to the number of golems you control. So you get to put in two dudes, and then you give the board minus 2,000 to non-golems, and you don't really care, because you have some golems, but your other dudes, you get them back with their guns, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And the fact that it's just to board wipe the whole thing, and 2,000 is pretty good average, like yeah. what everyone has, pretty much. Now, of course, we have the, the shards here. Uh, we have the legendary sh the spirit ruby shard, because you just need it, because it's the best. So you exhaust, flip your spear face down, destroy target unit. Done. Simple as that. And then of course the hollow crystals. Uh, exhaust pay one, put target uh, guardian gets plus 500 this turn. So that helps a little tiny dude block a thousand and be able to kill something. It also makes your dogs harder to deal with and your nobs harder to deal with. Oh yeah. And then of course the basic Argent shards that you need. Now we don't have sideboards usually, but we just do have honorable mentions and we have cosmic dark magic. I think this is always just honorable because it's like we want to use it but we don't know really how good it's two drop but this card costs one less to play for each face up dark tower so it could be free look at the top three cards of your deck you may add a dark unit among them to your hands and the rest in the discard zone which can be really good to just weed out the dudes that you can come back anyway yeah and then you get the it says a dark unit okay so it has to be a creature to your hand yeah so you get the guy you want and then you send the little guy that comes into play from getting milled into the graveyard and it still gets sent that way so you're like cool bring the student play exactly so it should be fun while we play it through the brawl uh the deck list will be down below i hope you enjoyed your stay here at geek Tokyo island goodbye later also guys make sure you hit that like button down below and subscribe to our channel and then hit that bell for any future notifications that you have for our videos and we go ahead and give a big uh thank you to our fans for over the years, especially our Mythic and Above Patreon followers. Uh, thank you, Dwayne Higgs. And thank you, Ryan. Uh, with that, we love you. Thank you for your support.